It's the annual potato planting ceremony in the village of Mishkamayu in Bolivia. Today the community has gathered to ask Mother Earth for a successful harvest. And they need all the help they can get, because across the country, Bolivia's staple food is in danger. Potatoes originated here in the Andes, and the area boasts more than 4,000 different varieties. But changes in the climate are taking their toll. They're not well, they're all dry. The name of this village means early planting season. In the past, the river here greened the valley even before the rains. Now the river has all but dried up and the soil is depleted. Climate change expert Mario Avalos has seen firsthand how weather patterns have changed here. Before, the variation in temperatures and in the climate were not that dramatic. They were not that strong. Now we see that there is more sun, more heat, higher temperatures that dry up the river quickly. There is no water. As a result, the farmers here, like Francisco Quispe Flores, can't produce enough to feed themselves, let alone sell to the market. Before, the rain came when it was supposed to, and at that time the potatoes would already be big, but now there is nothing. With the failure of the crops, it's hard for young people to see a future here. Martina Chambi says that her children are among many who have left the village to look for jobs. Our children have gone and left us because there is no money and no harvest. If it would only rain, there would be pastures again and the youngsters would not leave the community. The outlook for this community may seem bleak, but there is hope. The climate change expert Mario Avalos has come to this village to help the farmers find ways to adapt to the changing weather. He works with the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, on its adaptation to smallholder agriculture program. Today, Mario is doing an audit of what traditional techniques the local farmers are using to adapt to climate change. Francisco and the other farmers here have a lot less fertilizer than they used to, because less of their livestock are surviving the harsh climate. And there is not enough manure to make the amount of fertilizer they need. They show Mario the system they have developed to create communal compost to enrich their soil. Now Mario and his team are looking at how to maximize these traditional techniques and to complement them with new ones. We have talked about our future with Mario. We want to be able to recover little by little, year by year, for our children. We want to plant forests and build greenhouses to keep our children here so they don't leave for other countries. IFAD has just invested 10 million US dollars to help 32,000 farmers across Bolivia adapt to the changing climate. In this village, the construction of ponds and irrigation canals will help farmers conserve and store the little water they have. Better soil management and reforestation will help retain the moisture. For Francisco, there is now renewed hope that he can support his family and once again produce the variety of potatoes that brought such pride to the generations who have lived here.